Hey everyone, Rich Hall here with Rich Hall Group, an executive coach and business advisor for small to medium sized businesses. I'm here today with Bart Pitcock, who is an outsourced VP of sales with Sales Acceleration. And we're talking about uh, what the owner can expect once that you've built out a sales team. So prior to this video, we've discussed the proper ways of hiring uh, salespeople, getting them acclimated to the team, and then really getting them going within the organization and starting to generate revenue. At this point, Bart, help us understand what the owner should be able to expect. Yeah, Rich, all great questions, right? Uh, so hopefully if we've done everything that we talked about previously, right, we had a clearly defined role, we had an ideal candidate profile, we're offering a competitive compensation package, we have a defined onboarding plan and we're following that plan, then we should have that right person in the right seat. So we've also, as part of that onboarding plan, we've established clear objectives and quotas and targets. So the expectation should be that that salesperson is meeting or even exceeding the deliverables that we have talked about and agreed upon. And that is not only generating revenue, which we want that individual to do, but it's hopefully uh, identifying new customers, new product opportunities as well. So hopefully we're at that point, provided we've done all those things. Okay, so uh, from what I hear as well, you know, a lot of people will hire a salesperson and they may be really outgoing, and fun to be around and clients really like them. But what I think I hear you say too, is that sales management or managing a sales team is very much metric driven. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, so that should be part of that, that onboarding, right? That we've got KPIs, metrics clearly defined. That's not just a revenue or a sales target. It might be, we want to generate X number of new leads or grow our revenue with our existing customers. But, you know, the salesperson is also a key cog uh, uh, within, the, within the company. We also want that individual to be a key communicator uh, back to other stakeholders in the company via either, you know, regularly scheduled meetings with others uh, in the company or be a CRM tool, which you know is a customer relation uh, relationship management tool that uh, that are very effective in terms of communicating, uh, you know, all aspects uh, to others in the company. All right. So I've heard bad things about the customer relationship management or CRM tools. I think salespeople are not big fans of having to input all their data uh, into those type tools. But uh, tell me, so that our audience here understands, how should they be used uh, within the organization? Yeah, well, you're right. CRMs can get a bad rap, right? And, and, and understandably so in some cases, if they're not easy to use. You know, the first thing you want, you want your salesperson out selling. You don't want them spending you know, all of this time or half of their time just inputting data into some system and not knowing if it's being utilized. So one is, you know, let's understand there are CRM uh, tools and options out there for the small business community that are easy to use and they're budget friendly. So once you have uh, adopted one of these tools, it's important for everyone, the owner, others in the organization, let's identify what's important to communicate back into the organization. What's the so, forecast? Let me ask you this. So a CRM could be used for things like uh, tracking existing customers in addition to prospects and uh, how many times the company has reached out to them, whether it's phone call or email or some kind of campaign. It really helps keep track of every touch and activity that goes on with a particular customer as it relates to the sales or relationship process. Is that correct? 
Oh, yeah, that's absolutely correct. Because there may be others that are touching the customer, right, other than just the sales person, someone from customer service or someone from supply chain, uh, you know, may also be talking to customer. And it's important for that input and feedback to be understood and communicated with uh, within the organization. You don't want two different people telling two different stories uh, to the customer, right? So, um, so yeah, it's kind of what's the status of orders or what's the forecast or for new prospects, you know, what is the status of that lead? You know, I've, I made contact, we need to develop a proposal. Uh, hey, here's what the demand is. All of that information, it's just better held and managed in one central repository, if you will. And a, and a good, effective, easy to use CRM is the best way to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it sounds like as we wrap up this video that the owner at this point should be able to expect a metric-driven sales department have a good handle on the sales forecast, what activities in sales may generate to actual revenue and what kind of time frame that they could expect, as well as tools like a CRM to let us know uh, what's actually going on at any point in time with the particular customers. Anything else I've missed, Mark? No, I would just say, you know, once again, let's go back to that. If we've done all of our, uh, all of those initial steps, Hopefully we've got that right person in the right seat, right? Hopefully that individual has grown revenue to where now we're ready to start that process over again. We need to add another salesperson because we've got so much business. We need to, you know, grow that, that uh, you know, our company uh, and just continue down this path of growth and, uh, and an effective sales team can certainly help that. Great. Hey, thank you again, Bart. And thank you for everyone. Uh, Bart, once again, Bart Pitcock, Outsource VP of Sales with Sales Acceleration. This is Rich Hall with the Rich Hall Group, Executive Coach and Business Advisor for small to medium-sized businesses. Hopefully this has been beneficial. Please reach out and contact us if you'd like to have more information. And we hope everyone has a great day. Thank you. Thanks, folks.